what's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a flying effect in Premiere Pro. Okay, so as you can see I have Premiere Pro open along with the raw footage. As you'll see I set up the camera and I didn't get on screen straight away. You also have to do this so you are able to take a snapshot of it. And then from there I simply went to my position and this is how it looks. All you do is stand there and simply jump in the air like that. And that is how simple it is. So that's the recording part, make sure you do that part at the start, otherwise this effect will not work. So you want to make sure this is set to full, and then you want to come here and take a snapshot, and we can call this back, which is short for background. Now I saved mine to my desktop, as you'll see it is right here. I'm going to drag and drop this into Premiere Pro, and then what we have to do with this video, we have to drag this on video 2. Then with that screenshot we just took, known as back, we're going to drag and drop this onto video track 1 and we're going to extend this all the way out. So this is what we have so far, I'm going to be there and then I'm simply going to jump. Now what we're going to do is go through to the part where we jump and we're going to find the part where you are at the highest point in your jump. So I'll show you that right now. So as you can see I'm about to jump, we're going to press this arrow here to go through the keyframes and right when I'm the highest which is right there. We're now going to zoom into this part by holding Alt on our keyboard and zooming in, or you can come here and just zoom in. And what we're going to do is bring up the razor tool. You can press C on your keyboard or you can come over here and we're simply going to split it and split that as well. Now what we're going to do, we're going to drag this right part and just drag it off to the side. And now where this video is, what we need to do is go back one keyframe so we can see it and take another screenshot. Now this one you can call whatever, you can just call this fly. And now the next thing we're going to do is head over to our desktop where it says fly. We're going to drag and drop this in and simply drop it right here. And as you can see it is uh, pretty far so we actually need to come back and then simply drag and drop this onto a track above and just trim it down. Now what we're going to do is put this on video 2 and remember that screenshot we took which was known as back. We're going to extend this right here and then simply drag these two and bring it back. Now for this we can actually delete this part over here because it's just excess, we don't need it. And now we're going to be using that fly image we took where we're just stationary here. So as you see this part we're just completely still the entire time. So what we're going to do now is simply mask around ourselves. So you can come here and use the pen tool or what I like to do, some people might find this a bit weird, I use the uh, four points polygon mask as you can see it brings up a mask here and this is what happens, it's okay. All we're going to do is extend this out so we can see all of our self like so. So that is how it's going to look at the way I'm doing it. Then all I'm going to do is come to the pen tool, then I'm going to left click. And as you can see, we can now bring in more of the uh, dots to shape around our self. So this is the way I do it, of course you can use your own way. Um, but yeah, all we have to do is do this and I'll be back to you when I've done it. So as you can see I've now masked it out and that is what it should look like, basically an outline of your body. You want to make sure you get everything even in between your legs if there's a gap because otherwise the background will come up with you and it will look really weird. So the next thing we need to do is come up to position and you want to toggle the animation by pressing this button here. Now what you also need to do is make sure you're on effects controls. If you don't see it there should be uh, three lines here, you would select it and then select effect controls. Now what you need to do is come to the position, toggle the animation and this is where you choose how quick you want to fly up in the air. So for example, uh, I've currently made this one, about one second or close to two seconds. So if I come across just a little bit, we're going to bring up where it says 540 and we're going to simply uh, slide it left like so. Just like that, so we're off the screen. Now this is also why I said take a snapshot of your background before doing anything because this is now the, the uh, picture we took at the start. That is why there's also a color change as you'll see, but that can be fixed using brightness and contrast. So if I just play this part through now, as you can see that is what it looks like. Now what I don't like, as you'll see, there's like a little pause. So the way we're going to get rid of that, we're going to simply zoom in 
and we're going to bring this back, come back to the selection tool, and we're going to bring this back just a tiny bit. So, like that. And then we're simply going to bring this back, and now this should have fixed it. There we go, so it looks like it's all in one motion. And then of course if you want to fly up slow, bring up that keyframe, and you'll see we're now going to fly slower than normal. Like that. Still quite quick, so let me uh, extend this out a bit more. There we go. So it's completely optional how fast you want to fly. Um, it's really simple to do though. And of course to fix that color change, you're going to use brightness and contrast. So I'll show you that now. So for that we're going to head over to the effects tab and we're going to type in brightness. And it should come up as you can see right there, brightness and contrast. We're going to drag and drop this onto the background image. And as you'll see, we need to bring up the brightness not the contrast. So the brightness is right here. I'm going to press this arrow so we can use the slider instead and I'm simply going to bring this up. I'm also going to bring up the contrast as well because it looks like we need to now. Now you'll see this is the progress I've made so far from this to that. There's only a slight difference now but as you'll tell this is the way you'll do it. I'm not going to do it in this video because it's going to take quite a lot of time to play around with the settings. Everyone's settings will be different and in some cases you may have the same lighting if you're lucky. But that's it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching, and subscribe, and